So in this video, I'm going to go over how to uh, share files or download files uh, via, via Microsoft Teams. So if this is what you use for your work. Um, this is kind of an easy way to send files to others or to groups of people at a time or how to download work files and stuff as well. Um, this usually works better than email, um, especially if this is what your company uses, just because you can send and download bigger files through Microsoft Teams than you probably could through just sending a normal email. So there's a few different ways to do this. Um, the first is we're going to go how to send, you know, a file just to one person or a select group of people in chat. So if you go over here and go to chat, you can create a new chat if you want to, but we've already got a chat going here. And if you want to send a file down here where you can type in a message, you can see the little paperclip attachment icon. If you click on that, you can um, do it from OneDrive if you use OneDrive or if it's just located on your computer, you can do upload from computer and you can select an image or whatever file it is. Could be an image, could be a document, could be whatever. Um, it'll take it a second to upload it here. And while it's doing that, you can just type a message, whatever that is, so it sends it with the file. And there you go, you can see it has sent the file. Um, and you again, you can do this with any kind of type of document, it doesn't have to be an image, it could be a Word document or something like that. Um, and then in our chat here at the top, we can go to files. And from here, we can actually see all the files that have ever been sent uh, when they were sent and who sent them um, in this chat. So instead of having to scroll through your whole chat, if you're just looking for a certain file in here, you can just go to the files tab and you'll find it here and you can click on it and open it um, and do what you need to with it. So with chats, uh, you can do group chats too. So you can, you know, add more people to this chat so they can get access to these files if you want to. But the next way um, you can send files is in a team. So if we go to teams here on the left and we'll, you know, so you have all your teams here um, and you have your teams with your different channels. So you can go to the general channel for the team if you want to, if you want everyone in this team to get access to the file. But if you just want to do it to the certain people in the certain channels, make sure you click on that correct channel. But we'll do it to the general part, so all of them. And there's a few ways you can do it here. Um, if you click new conversation, you can attach it just kind of like we did um, in chat. Or you can just go to the files tab at the top. And here is where you would see all the files that have been uploaded to this team. Um, there haven't been any yet, but you can go ahead and do a few things here. Uh, one, you can click on new. And this, you can just create a straight up new Word document or Office document here. Um, it'll just be blank and you can start working on it and it'll save, you know, in here if you want to. You can also create a folder to help you organize things a little bit better in here if you want to, especially if it's a team. There's probably going to be a lot of files that have been added here, so it'll be nice to kind of organize that. So you can just create a new document or whatever straight from there. If you have something that you've already started, just saved on your computer, you can also upload it. Um, you can upload individual files or entire folders um, at a time. It's up to you. We'll just do an individual file or files. And once we click on it, you can see over here, it's uploading one item and there we go. It's right here. And if you click on it, it'll take a second, but it should open. Here we go. So there's the file. We can go back. You can also click the little dot here and you can download the file. So if we click that, you can 
copy a link to it, you can download it, you can delete it, you can pin it to the top, you can rename it, move it, or copy it, or a few other things if you want to. So that's what you can do with the files there. Um, other options for uploading files is sync. So if you use OneDrive, you can go ahead and click that and it'll sync with your OneDrive folder or whatever you've set up on your computer. So it'll just automatically upload all of those to this uh, team channel here. Um, and then you can also, if you click download, it's gonna go ahead and just download all the files here in a zip file. And then you can go and open it up on your computer and get access to all the files. But again, if you wanna do that individually, you just go ahead and select the individual files you wanna download. So you don't have to download all of them. So that's how you um, send files and stuff in chat, how you can send files and download files and stuff in a channel. Um, you can also do the same download and everything for files um, in chat. Uh, if you want to, All right, if we go here, you can select the ones you want and download them or just get a web URL to them, a web link to them if you want to, if that's easier. Um, the next option here is down here at files. These are all the files I've uploaded and you can see their locations of where I've uploaded them to, um, what uh, teams I've uploaded them to or what chats I've uploaded them to. Um, you can also see the downloads, right? From that one thing I downloaded and you can also go to OneDrive, which if you had stuff uploaded in OneDrive, if that's what you use on your computer. You would see pretty much all that stuff pop up on here. I don't really have anything in OneDrive, so that's why you don't see anything. Um, you can also add cloud storage down here. And like you could set up a Google Drive or Dropbox or one of these other things that you use. And then that way you have easier access. So if you use Microsoft Teams, but you also use Google Drive and you want your files to show up, they could show up here. Um, it'll just make it easier sharing from here if you want to. Again, you can make new files, upload new files, sync files or copy links to any of the files that are in here in the OneDrive folder. Um, so you can use that if you want to. Um, and in the files that you have, if you click the three dots, you can download or get a link or something like that. Um, and if you have more files in OneDrive, you can select them and you can do pretty much the same things if you want to, right? So in this file tab, you can just have access to kind of all your files that you've uploaded and shared. It's an easier way to kind of see it organized, um, but to share files with other people that you usually want to do that through the certain teams and channels or through individually through chats. And again, this is an easier way probably than emailing it because you can upload larger files um, and things like that to send to people than you kind of could send through an email. And it just makes it easier because it's more organized. You can see all the files you've uploaded. You can see all the files at one time in teams that people have uploaded to that team and channel. So instead of having to sift through all your emails to try to find that file, um, this is much more organized and much easier to find things. And it's much easier for other people to find the files that you have uploaded um, and added in Microsoft Teams somewhere. So it's just easier all around for everybody if you um, can do it this way. But that's how you go ahead and upload and share files and download files uh, via Microsoft Teams. Hopefully this video helps, and if it does, go ahead and leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one on how to make technology work better for you. Thanks.